Okay, okay, what's going on, Vice Viper Gamers? Everybody else that likes the Vice Viper channel, which is still small, it's still growing. So anybody who's joining me on these early joining journeys, I mean, I'm going to be able to see um, what it turns into, what it ends up becoming. It's going to be great because then, you know, you can say you're an early, you was here in the beginning. But, uh, you know, E3, for the most part, the main three press conferences have already gone by. I'm at work, by the way, so if you're wondering... Uh, what's going on I'm at work but E3 has gone by the three main press conferences I didn't get to watch uh, EA but I did get to watch uh, I think I caught like a quarter of the way into Microsoft all the Sony and Nintendo I was in and out because of uh, work um, but I just want to get my thoughts on it I thought E3 was good actually um, because, you know, I set my expectations to realistic expectations in terms of, like, what we would be getting, what's, you know, what to expect, what, what I should not expect, things like that. Uh, and anybody who knows me knows I'm a big Nintendo fan, so, you know, I was really, 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 really hoping that Nintendo was going to keep the trend that they have currently going. Um, with the way they're putting out games, which are strategic, you know, they're actually doing really good marketing nowadays. So everything was, uh, everything was seeming fine. And it is still, um, what, what, what can I say? I mean, uh, just to give you a little brief, because I'm on my cell phone right now, I'm at work, you know, like I said, it's just a quick video. To give you a quick briefing, uh, the games that I was super excited for, the games you can expect me to be on. I'm trying to get rid of these razor bumps. But, um, let's see. Uh, Anthem. Uh, I'm just going to hit the key ones. So, Anthem. That, man, that, that's my type of game right there. Like, that, I, a mechanized suit. Um, a mechanized suit that you can customize hopefully colors and everything else and travel through a somewhat massive world and explore collect items collect weapons things like that with a probably beast storyline man i'm 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 at home you know i'm all about mechana style suits whether it be anything from mobile suits you know Gundams in general or just power suits of sorts such as Samus Aran Clyde or Samus Aran um, with Metroid you know with the power suit um, I'm all about suits all about it so can't wait to get my hands on that am I gonna get it on the Xbox One X meaning that I might get an Xbox One X I'm not 100% sure or am I gonna get it on a PS4 aka ps4 or ps4 pro if i decide to upgrade to the pro which i'm going to eventually do but you know when money is more available and i'm not i don't have all these extra responsibilities we will find out um what else uh anthem so we so i said that i mean for me for microsoft that was the biggest thing there's probably some other games that i probably did see that caught my interest somewhat but Anthem was the main one, and it wasn't even really a Microsoft game. It's going to be on all the platforms. So, really, I guess I can't say Microsoft got me with one of anything. Maybe if somebody puts it in the comments and let me know if there's something they think I might have liked that I missed, and I'll comment back on that either once I see the comment or whatnot. Um, Sony, on the other hand, you know, I didn't get to play Shadow Colossus. I probably will check this out. Um, I was always curious about it, but you know, I think that was back when I was really heavy Nintendo. You couldn't get me to get another system. I respected other games that were on the other systems, but I just didn't have a PlayStation at the time, so I never even played it. Um, Destiny, you know, ugh. I'm probably gonna get Destiny too, you know. Um, but I'm going into the game with my expectations at a mediocre level. I'm not going to go into the game with these ridiculous high expectations. Destiny is a game that I like to play on and off. 
So it's it's a it's the kind of game where I want to I'll play Destiny, but then I'll I'll play it for a little bit and then jump off of it. Usually by that time they put in an update of some sort, and guess what? Now with the update, everything that you had previously unlocked is pointless. So you know, but I, nine times out of ten I'm gonna get it. Um, what else? I'm going off the top of my head, so you know you gotta excuse me for not being super prepared. It's just a, I thought I'd just do it. Um, Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, I didn't get to play it. Knew about it, heard about it, didn't get to play it. Um, even on the GameCube, I didn't get to play it, which is, you figured that'd have been the system I would have probably played it on. Um, but I loved the trailer. Thought it was pretty interesting. Any game that has cussing in it. I'm all about that. Um, so that that's probably going to be one that I probably try out. Hopefully, I don't have to know the story arc from the first one, or they do a really good job at kind of filling you in. Because um, I usually don't like to play games when I didn't play the first one. Um, there was something else for something. I mean, yeah, God of War, shit like that. You know, that's like automatic. But I like. I'm to that age now, I'm to that point where I, I don't get as super hyped. Now, the only thing that will still get me super hyped, we're talking about some Star Fox, you know, Metroid, Zelda, stuff like that. And keep in mind, we already got Zelda. Uh, to skip forward to Nintendo, Nintendo announced Metroid 4. They also announced the Metroid for the DS. I still got my DS. So am I going to try this Metroid on the DS? No, on my ass. I probably am going to pick it up. Um, you know, you got ARMS coming out in two days. Um, you got Splatoon coming out next month. You got the Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2 coming out. I'm going to pick that up. I played the first one. I didn't beat it, though. Like, it's pissing me off in my mind knowing that I did not beat that game. And the shit, it, and like, I... <laughs> I was near the end too, and I just don't know why the fuck I didn't finish it. Um, but I'm gonna be picking up part two. Um, there was so much stuff to, to talk about, and I wish I could have live streamed while the show was going on so I could have gave you my instant thoughts on things. Um, but like I said, this is just a small little thing. I'm walk I just had to walk to my car real quick because Got them neck, got them neck hairs are sticking me, and I got petroleum jelly in my car. So you know I'm gonna put that on my neck, and hopefully that'll keep the the sticky sticky down. I hope nobody pulls up in this parking lot all quick thinking, oh he's gonna pull out, cause they're gonna be so disappointed when I pop right back out the car. But yeah, you know as as you know I don't care what color you are or race or whatever, you should always have some petroleum jelly ready to go works wonders on your skin and this is with cocoa butter you can get this for a dollar at the dollar tree but um you know once again back to the summary i thought e3 i thought e3 was good um i enjoyed it you know it seems like especially with the weather man the weather looked great out there like it seemed like somewhere i just wanted to be you know um but you know I don't think it was a bad conference. I think a lot of the companies showed a lot of a lot of good things. Now, if you're asking me who won E3, it's going to be a tough spot between Ubisoft and Nintendo. Um, but if I had to go hand in hand for what what they both introduced, I'm gonna say Nintendo because everybody was really waiting on fucking Metroid. They said it. Uh, Pokemon, they got the Pokey, the Pokey, uh, I forgot what it's called, the Pokey, the Pokemon where you fight, I can't remember the name of it, um, but they did announce that they're finally, finally fucking Lee, they're gonna make a fucking Pokemon game on a console, like an RPG Pokemon game on a console. Now, what I'm hoping for is a, like, I want an open world, all the different regions, Pokemon game, 
where you literally can be in a server with, you know, I, hell, I don't know, depending on how big, honestly, with games like that, for me, it depends on how big the, um, how big the world is, and that's how I feel like you should dictate how many people are in the world, you know, or at least in, in a certain region. Maybe, like, if, as you change regions, you change servers or something like that, you know, but I feel like, I feel like you should be in a world where I can be playing as my Pokemon uh, trainer, right? Fully customizable. I'm goddamn Nintendo. I know y'all probably want to see this video because this, this, uh, this is one of a million, but you know, and you've been doing a good job with, with making your the customization of your Pokemon trains pretty good, but make sure you can be all nationalities, white, black, Asian, all of it, you know, because I like trying to make every character in every video game I play, I try to represent myself as best I can makes the character look like me, makes me feel a little bit better when I see myself in the storyline. I don't care if it's already got pre-voice lines. I don't care what the voice per se sounds like. Actually, at times, there are times where you just know that you should have multiple voice actors doing these lines um, with the necessity uh, behind it, in my opinion. But that's, that's on another note. But um, a, a full out world Pokemon where you literally could be walking around and run into a legit another trainer, like a legit trainer, like a real life person, and then Pokemon, and then battle, you know? And and and, and just do all that right there on the spot, man. That that would be fantastic. Um that 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 would sell me, period, right there. Um so hopefully we get something similar to that, or at least close to that, or at least something that sparks that idea more so and and, and moves them into that whole um, category of how they make their games, right? Um, let's see, what else? Uh, you know, for this Metroid Prime 4, man, I think with the Metroid games, for me personally, I'm missing, and I still enjoy them, don't get me wrong, but I think what they're missing is give me some story, man, give me something deep. Like, they kind of did that with Metroid. Um, what was it, Metroid? What was that Metroid? God damn, I can't, the last Metroid they came out with that was kind of based off the manga. If y'all didn't know, and I can't remember the name of it, I'm sorry. Um, but it was kind of based off the manga. If you never read the Metroid manga, I'm gonna need you to get up on your shit. If you got an Android phone, you're looking at this on a smartphone or an iPhone, which you might have to pay for the shit. But um, if you got an Android, you download manga, manga reader, and you can download the Metroid manga, man, and read it. It's a good read. Um, really puts you in the mindset and the psyche of uh, Samus. So you can know where she's come from, what she went through. But, um, like, give me some deep story, man. Make me care about these characters. Another good example of this would be, um, for instance, Star Fox, right? I'm a huge Star Fox fan. But I feel like if they were to team up with, like, Kojima, for instance, you know, make a Metal Gear Solid and Zone of the Enders and stuff like that. I feel like if they were to do that, right, and really take these characters, put a big, uh, put a story behind these characters, put, put some more oomph behind these characters and just make it a huge world with unforgettable characters that you hate and love, you know, and just and just do it and do a a full out Star Fox game with some almost like Ace Combat like controls with the R wings and you know even throwing maybe some Mechana and then you know Slippy's always making stuff you know do something like that man just just throw one of your your IPs out there and, and go hard you know go go bigger than you ever gone or thought you could go with the series before and make it something serious man make it something that people will say man this is game of the year. Same thing with Zelda, like I love the new Zelda, right? I feel like the story was just a little bit lackluster. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But like, they had the, they had all the good concepts, all the good things, but go a little bit further than that, right? Go a little bit further. Make me wanna cry for your characters. Like if a game can make me wanna cry, that's when you know you got a good game. Stuff like that, man. But once again, this is just me rambling. While I'm at work, I need to get back in here. It's hot as shit out here. I know you see how bright it is. Like, you see that goddamn sun? Where the sun at? Woo, look at that sun. I don't even know if that's the sun. I can't even see it. But, um, 
I'm just rambling, you know. Just give me all some content. I'm gonna download some more. Uh, I'm gonna do some more pre-recording some of the gameplay that I do on the PS4. Um, I wish I could do it. Once I get a capture card, you'll be able to see some of my Switch gameplay and and um, you know anything else that I'm doing. I just gotta get all that stuff set up. I live in an area where the internet sucks, so I can't do live streaming. Um, I used to be able to do it on my PS4 a little bit, and it was okay, but now the internet speed is just garbage, and it's not really allowing me to do it. So I prefer to do live streaming because then y'all can really see me in my natural habitat and really interact with me right then and there on the spot while I'm saying the craziest of things and giving you the real display of how I, how I really do things. So I apologize that y'all cannot get full live stream however um i will yo i can't call it i will um i will pre-post some more gameplay some more games um i'm playing war thunder right now which i haven't posted anything from that but i think i am um because i love any kind of aerial uh or flight simulator style combat games even if it's old school like that war thunder is um I'm gonna put some more Friday the 13th on there too, cause I know, uh, I know that's always fun and funny um, hearing me on there. Um, but you got, you're gonna have a lot more things coming. This channel is gonna get bigger. Remember, this is the beginning. It seems like it's a rough start, uh, you know. But we're gonna. I'm, I'm, my goal is to eventually get to a status where, you know. Even if my collective of audience is really small, but my status is to, to be there, to be true to my fans and the people that have been there from the beginning and even the ones that come in the future and just kind of make Vice Viper Gaming as big as I can possibly make it. And, you know, maybe one day I'm getting called to go to E3 um, for, my, for my opinion and be on the, the YouTube uh, panel or whatever. So, you know, we'll see how that works out. But um, once again, this is your boy Regis. AKA Proto Man Aegis, AKA Proto Man underscore ZX or dash ZX on the, on the Switch. Um, if you need my gamer tags for both the Switch or the PS4, just let me know and you can get those easily. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign off cause it's hot. I want my phone to be baking out here in the sun and uh, be looking forward to more content coming uh, very soon. So once again, I appreciate everybody that came through, hung out, hit smash that like button if you please, smash the dislike button if you please, and if you smash the dislike button, please at least put in the comments why, so I can talk shit to your monkey ass. Nah, I'm just joking. Uh, I might still talk shit. But, um, you know, and subscribe. I know, like I said, the videos are coming. Um, the channel's gonna be better, but just bear with me, give me some time. We're gonna get some great content. And as always, for those who came through, I appreciate you, love you guys. Catch you on the next time.